News 46 is brought to you by Inspiration Senior Living, where we provide affordable elegance to Pahrump area seniors. Give us a call at 751-2300 and make an appointment to tour our community. News is also brought to you by Golden Casino Group, where you'll always find great fun, good food, and fantastic entertainment, all at Gold Town, Lakeside, and the Pahrump Nugget. News is also brought to you by J.K. Nelson Law. Call 727-9900 today for your free consultation. If you need a lawyer, you need Nelson. Tonight on News 46, the Board of County Commissioners make a decision about food vendors. Affiliated Chiropractic adds two new doctors to their team. Emergency crews respond to a two-vehicle accident. News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46 with Courtney Solman. Local coverage from Deanna O'Donnell. News 46, local coverage you can count on. Good evening, it's Thursday, November 5th, 2015. I'm Courtney Solman for News 46. The Board of County Commissioners has decided to vote against establishing a permanent food court location for mobile food vendors. Is it possible to establish uh, sites on county or town land that would be pre-identified and approved for people to park on a temporary basis with their food trucks as an addition to the other parts of the process that we were looking at. Uh, the intent is that we'll still follow through the ordinance process through the RPC um, with this, that everyone will have an opportunity to weigh in on the input into this, but it was, staff did not feel like we had the authority to make that decision without direction from this board that as to whether it's even of interest to you to include sites on uh, some of the county or town parcels of land. I'll make a motion to not move forward with a mobile food court. I have a motion on the floor. Do second. I have a second? I do have a second. Then I got a comment. Okay, go ahead, Commissioner yeah, Bereski. I, I, I can't see <clears throat> penalizing mom and pop operations for something like this. Uh, I don't know how many complaints there were about these mobile food vendors, but there's uh, there's used car lots all up and down 160 sitting on the gravel, which violates all county codes. Maybe you want to go pick on them for a while rather than the food vendors. A couple of calls on this also, and my understanding is um, I don't know where the complaints are coming from but say, that are saying these people are causing a problem in parking lots because I have to agree with Lorinda. Um, if somebody's sitting there and, and they have to actually refuse to leave, then you call the the sheriff. Uh, so I don't think we need an ordinance for these. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Anyone aye. opposed? Against. Did anyone, yours was against. against. Yes. Okay, so that passes 4-1. Took an opportunity. Do I have that right? Took an opportunity away. The commissioners approved improvements to the Beatty Airport during their meeting this week in Tonopah. Make a motion to submit a grant, grant, uh, grant pre-application Federal Aviation Administration for design, construction of taxiway turnaround and runway 34 at Beatty Airport, and to approve the contract with Atkins, provide design, bidding, and construction management service for taxi turnaround for runway 34 at the Beatty Airport, contingent upon concurrence from the FAA. Thank you. I have a good motion on the floor. Do I have a second? Second. Okay. I have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? Who actually uses this airport? What what is it designed for? People with airplanes. Well, I understand that, but are we putting a lot of money? Are we putting a lot of money into this and nobody's using it, or is this for small private air, airplanes, or can we get some big ones in there? If this is if, if this is developed, it, how's it going to let's let, help? Let's let Dave answer that question. Oh, if he's up there, that'd be fine. This is a general aviation airport, so small GA. Um, you actually have a capacity to land up to a King Air, which is about 35,000 pounds of uh, wheel weight. So 
um, the brothel that opened on the corner of um, US 95 at the Beatty Airport Road actually uses this airport a lot for their own business, as well as the mining uh, in the Beatty area, uh, as well as tourists that actually go into Death Valley. So uh, you do have local people. Uh, you do have glider groups that come in and use that. So it's a general facility for small aircraft. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Any further questions? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. Passes 4-1. Timothy Treffinger was in court facing heroin possession charges. Police allegedly found drugs and paraphernalia during a search of his residence after obtaining a search warrant based on a report that drugs were being sold from his home on Alfano Avenue. The 29-year-old former pr prosecutor pled guilty before Judge Lane on Monday. Treffinger worked on cases in Nye, Esmeralda, and Mineral Counties for the state attorney general. His guilty plea can carry up to four years in prison and a $5,000 fine. He will be sentenced January 11th. And we'll have more from News 46 after this break.